Hi, in today's video I'm going to be taking a look at rolling back NixOS generations. With NixOS, when you do an upgrade using a Nix Rebuild Switch, it creates a new generation. And this appears in the boot menu, so if there's a problem you can switch back to a previous generation. What happened with me on my Dell XPS 15 with an NVIDIA graphics card was um, it wouldn't boot up into the new generations, it just hang on setting kernel uh, variables. So basically what I want to do is I want to set the generation that works to be booted into automatically and delete the generations that aren't working. So I'm going to switch across to Emacs here and first of all obviously what we want to be able to do is list the generations that are, that are active on the system. So we're going to do that with this command. Doaz nix dash emv dash dash list dash generations dash dash profile nix var nix profile system so switch across to the terminal and this will print out the um, generations that are active on the system and the current generation is number 69 i'm actually booted into generation 67 which is working so i want to set generation 67 to be automatically booted into and then delete generations 68 and 69, which aren't booting. So what you can also do is actually um, list the current generation just by running ls. So if we run ls-l nix var nix profile system, what if I actually copy the text, bastard um okay you can be like that All right there we go so running ls dash l nix var nix profile system actually lists the current system and what it links to so using a bit of directory traversal what we can also do is list all the profiles by running ls dash l nix var nix profiles and you need the slash at the end so what this is doing is actually listing the um all the different profiles here so we've got 60 to 69 and these all links to different um sections in the nix store okay so what we can also do is um so we can list the profiles. Did I just do that? Yeah, that's what I just did. You can also list a specific generation. So I can also list the generation here that's working uh, system 67 link. So you can see here what we've got is system. So what we can do is basically run a command like this and it will actually show you that generation and what it links to. Okay, so there's a couple of ways we can approach this apparently, according to the documentation. So the first one is you can actually, I'm booted into a generation that is working. So one option is to run DOAS run current system bin switch to configuration boot. And apparently, what that does is that sets the current generation we're booted into to be the default. So that's one option. Now the next um, two options are, uh, are for setting a specific generation to boot into and also deleting the broken generations. So this is the option I'm going to try here. So again, at the moment, let me just run this command again. At the moment, you can see we've got generation 69 active. What we want to do is set generation 67 to be active and then delete generations 68 and 69. <clears throat> so let's try this and see what it does. Switching profile from version 69 to 60. 
let's run the previous command again listing the generations and you can now see generation 67 is the current generation so when i reboot it's going to reboot into this generation automatically if i didn't set that what would happen is it would boot into it would come up to the boot menu and i'd manually have to switch to generation 67 otherwise it would boot into the latest one 69 what we want to do now is actually delete these two generations that aren't working so what we've got down here is delete gen um, broken generations. So we're going to run this command here. So as nix dash emv dash dash profile nix var nix profile system dash dash delete dash generations 68 and 69. And we'll check. Okay, removing profile 68, 69. Now let's list the generations again. And you can see we've now set generation 67 to be the current generation so that when we reboot, it's going to boot into that. And we've deleted the later generations that weren't working. So um, the issue I was having was basically um, it was getting stuck in the boot process on setting kernel variables. I hadn't changed anything in my system configuration. So I'm guessing it's some issue with the kernel and the GPU, um, the NVIDIA um, graphics card. So I'll leave it a while and do an update in, you know, maybe <laughs> a week or something, see if it fixes itself. Otherwise, I'll have to try and dig a dip, bit deeper and see if there's um, some other fix that's needed. But I'll put a link to this document um, under the video, and this is mainly taken uh, from this section of the NixOS wiki here and um, these are some of the options about how you can list the current generations and um, set a generation to be the default and also how to delete specific generations. So if you're on NixOS I hope that helps. Um, I took a little bit of digging around to find the uh, correct documentation and commands and also just to play around um, with the actual uh, directory path here so that you can actually see all the different generations that are in use. So that's all for now and I hope that helps if you have any issues needing to revert to a previous version of NixOS um, and you want to delete it, you want to delete um, some generations that weren't working.